Hello guys, welcome to another video. So today is February 7th. So today we'll talk about whether or not the stock market is going to crash. So uh, first of all, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and click the notification button and also like my Facebook page. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me comments in the comment box below. So uh, in the past more than one year, I've been sharing about uh, my point of view of the stock market. Uh, is going to there are a couple of times that almost uh, going to trigger a big crash and big collapse in the stock market but uh, we shared about when should we buy Amazon Google and Facebook and other things like uh, US retail stocks uh, things like that I keep on sharing so today after the Black Friday that happened last week we were, we were thinking that whether or not the stock market is going to crash so there are a few of the angles that we should consider the first uh, first thing first whether or not it's a, a, a little adjustment it is big adjustment or is even it will be a recession right we have to eliminate them e eliminate these cases case by case the first thing is in the previous video last week I talked about I strongly uh, suggest you guys watch that video it's not going to be a recession it's not okay if it is the strategy will be completely different. So don't trust me, trust the math, trust the statistics. Just look at that video. It's about, I think the title is one signal telling us whether or not it's a recession, something like that, or a bubble, right? Uh, so it's not going to be a recession. If that's a recession, it would uh, go back to almost to the 2008 level, which is around, it will break below 2000, right? It's not going to happen right now, at least in that statistic, which is 100% true. Whether or not it's coming to, uh, it's becoming a little adjustment is not right because it's not little. So is it a big adjustment or is the adjustment coming to the end? I would say it this way. The main issue is about the news going to happen in March. In March is the first FOMC meeting that is hosted by the new Fed chairman and also the Italian stuff and also the Brexit phase two negotiation and also a uh, big meeting happening in two Congress uh, governments in the uh, in the China. Uh, so this is pretty much many big news, right? So if you calculate the valuation, uh, I would re record another video is coming. Uh, it will be posted on Monday. I will show you exactly in 2017 we use our bare naked eyes saying that the stock market is, ex is expensive but i will show you by calculation even though we use the top to uh, uh, uh to put in consider consideration is legit based on the growth actual earning growth okay so even to the peak is fairly valued okay so this crash is because of even though uh, because it's considered uh, it, even though we're doing calculations, right? Or you guys are not watching this video, so you do your calculation your, and you do your homework. But majority of the people outside in the market, they will see uh, with their bare eyes, eyes saying that this is expensive. So they will find all the reasons to sell their stocks, right? So the main reasons is about the uncertainties. It's not about the bad news, right? So if you think that, oh, if, it's, if there are bad news, show me in March, right? After that meeting and this meeting, why not we just wait for the news and then we sell the stock up the day after. So let's play it rationale, right? No, you would do that, right? As long as there are uncertainties, we will try as early as possible to sell all, uh, to take all our profits. That is something I warn uh, you guys uh in the starting from january because we know we understand things will be happening uh they will happen in march right but we don't need to know the result the result is because uh the uncertainty is going to happen so the crash is coming up right that the so that's why we see uh we look at the u.s treasury bonds yield is going crazy so uh long story short because this is really a difficult topic as soon as the 10-year yield is going higher then the two year and three months, the, the spread will be wider, then that's fine. So as you can see, the Black Friday, you see the crash is pretty bad, right? Because you see it's going down the 10 year, but the two year treasury is going even deeper. It's deep, right? But right now, in general, starting from the um, Black Friday to now, the net changes with, is reflecting that the gap the spread is e actually wider, a bit wider. So it's a legit proof that uh, that this 
candlestick that happened yesterday, which is Tuesday, is uh, going to be uh, true. It's going to show that it's going to either see in bottom or it will have a, a further rebound. OK, so uh, we can say that technically it shouldn't break below twenty six hundred. Uh, for S&P 500, if we if if we bounce, we can look at 2800. If it stop at 2800 and turning back, it should be only rebound. But at least we have an option, and we have a uh, we have a we can buy something, right? We can purchase some stocks in the market, because in case it breaks above 2800 and even 2900, because the fair value should be 2900. I will show you on Monday. And you then have will have an option whether you want to take profit or keep holding it, right? If you haven't bought anything, how can you have option? That is something that we have to be determined. If you do a homework, the chance of going down is less, right? You just do it right now. If you procrastinate to next week or next month, the profit and loss ratio will be completely distorted. OK, so that is something that we have to keep in mind. If you do homework, just do it. OK, so I would say that if it's just a rebound or uh, it's fine. OK, I can choose to take profit. If you buy it now, like today, uh, for example, uh, the stocks I'm going to show you right now, uh, but it doesn't rebound and even break below 2600, it might try uh, 2550 or 2500. But I don't suggest you to sell that portion. You should keep it and then uh, find a ch second chance to kick in the market around 5,500 level. So the exact points I will show you in the uh, usually on uh, Wednesday and Friday. Usually on Monday, it will be fully edited. It's something more important and uh, bigger scales, more macro. OK, this is more micro or more of a charting analysis. So look at the stocks, for example, Google. I talk about this stock on in summer. I said that oh, it's uh, highest is thousand and coming back from nine hundred dollars is only because of the lawsuit that is uh, happening in uh, the eurozone, saying that it's monopoly. Uh, the Google is playing monopoly, so I should uh, give them a fine. So I say that it shouldn't fill the gap. So that is around one thousand level, right? And then it gives us another gap, and then the highest is twelve hundred. And then only only a week, it comes back to almost one thousand dollars per share level. It is exactly only back to uh, the first and second quarter of last year. OK, tell me, tell me if people are rational here, they all know that they're being lawsuit. They have expenses. They have earnings, stuff like that is fully reflected. And why the stock, uh, the stock price will come back to this level. Right. And then with earnings, 28 percent earning. Right. So it's going back to the same level as last year. It's pretty ridiculous. And yes, again, just risk and uh, return the level and the chance. Right. If you think that the uh, downside is really low and the upside is pretty you don't have to consider the upside, right? Because the downside is low and then you can kick in the market and set cut loss at this. And look at Facebook. It doesn't adjust, right? Look at Amazon. OK, it's at the peak. So I know people keep talking about Fang, right? Amazon, Facebook is pretty much boring, right? But as long as they have the data, they have the technology, they have the manpower, they have the vision, they can execute. And then the market is mono is they play monopoly, right? So even it's boring. You're taking, you're earning money. You're enjoying the ride with them. They have the technology. They have the meetings. They hustle. They they all do all the meetings. I we just cross our hands, lay back, and enjoy the ride, right? And why you want to find a stock that nobody knows about, and it's pretty crazy, and give you sense of fulfillment, right? Like that, right? But I would rather choose the product, right? So this is something that I think is pretty much uh fully with mainly reflected the value is, is pretty much under value right home depot dropped a lot already so the lowest is around 170 uh, 170 okay it's uh almost back to november and october right so this uh these stocks are pretty much sexy so if you want to kick in the market i don't know which stock you want to buy you can refer to the index which you can uh refer to what i talk about in the for the uh the charting analysis and targets for the s p 500 index as a reference when you should buy uh a stock okay or stocks okay that's something i want to update you guys please uh you if you 
find is useful and please give me thumbs up and also share this video uh, video to your friends if you if you have anything to add please leave me comments in the comment box below all right i'll see you next time goodbye